The first step in prepping your photo for photopolymer plates is to open the photo in whatever photo editing software you have. I'm going to be working in Photoshop for this tutorial. I'm opening up my photo right now. And here you can see I have a full color photograph. One of the things that I'm going to be doing though with this is that this photopolymer plate demo will be working in one color. So I'm going to make this all grayscale. So first of all, I'm going to go up and change my mode and change it to grayscale. I'm going to discard all the color information and I can continue to do any kind of edits that I wanted to do in this right now, but because this is going to be a black and white print on the photopolymer plate, I'm going to be working with the grayscale image. Then I need to make this a little smaller because I, do, I don't want to make a print that is, oh, I don't know, what is this, like 13 by 19. So I'm going to um, change the image size to something that is a little, more convenient to work with and I'm thinking that the the total width should be about 10 inches and whoops I want to lock that so that it makes it proportional um, let's see so let's go to 10 and we'll hit OK that'll make it about five and a half inches in height click OK now I have my my photo into the position I need the, the size that I can print easily print and the next step for me to do is to export this so um, I'm going to export it with registration mark so I'm going to go to file I'm actually going to go to print when I go to print then I am going to my print dialog box comes up I'm going to print to an, a PDF. This will allow me to, um, for this demonstration, I'll be able to show you how to put in registration marks and the like. So I first of all, I need to change the orientation of this so that it'll fit on the page. So I'm going to hit landscape. There we go. And then as I scroll down, you can see there's a number of things that I can do here. Color management. I can do position and size. I can do also printing marks. And here I'm going to do printing um, registration marks. So once I click this, you'll see that all of a sudden I have registration marks that are showing up. And I'm going to print this off on the transparency and then I'm actually going to expose it on the plate as well so that I have marks on the plate where I can line up the paper so that I can um, get a good registration with my paper. And then I'm going to print. While that is opening up, I'm going to save it here. And once this prints and opens up, then I will show it here for you. One of the things that I want you to be aware of that while I am doing this, so you can see I have my registration marks, I can line my paper up on the edge here, and I can line my paper up on the edge here. My plate is actually going to be about this big. Photopolymer plates, their edges don't wipe clean very easily. So one way I get around that is actually printing a larger, printing this and keeping it on a larger plate so that when I'm wiping this down, I don't have to worry if there's ink that is in on the edges of the plate. So I just line my paper up, I cut my paper this size, lay it down, send it to the press, and then I don't have to worry about the cleaning up of the edges on my photopolymer plate.